Hi. We've seen how artists use the technique known as linear perspective to create the illusion of space on a two-dimensional surface, like a canvas or a wall. In the following demonstration, I'm going to show you how artists not only use perspective to create an illusion of space and depth, but also to add meaning to their works of art. Now the painting you see here on my left is by an artist called Masaccio. Masaccio was a Renaissance artist. That's to say he was working in the beginning of the 15th century. In this case, in Florence, Italy. As we can see, Masaccio has created an illusion here. The illusion is that there's another space beyond the wall of the church. The space has architectural qualities, it has a vaulted ceiling, columns. Within that space we see Jesus rising up to the arms of God the Father after the crucifixion. Now people when they saw this in the early 15th century were amazed. They'd never seen such an accurate rendition of three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface before. It was like actually witnessing the event itself, it had that much impact. But Masaccio just didn't leave it there. He used the lines of perspective to exaggerate the effect that people were experiencing when they stood in front of the painting. For instance, we all know that parallel lines in single point perspective meet at the horizon line. Now the horizon line on this painting is above a grave. Below the horizon line is where we are. We live, we die, we are mortal. Above the horizon line, we have heaven, we have the divine. To add to that effect, we use the lines of perspective from the vaulted ceiling, we trace them down, and they give this sense of upward movement, as though Christ is physically moving in front of our eyes up to heaven. 